Radio frequency ablation is a technique we can use to treat isolated tumors in the body. And what do I mean by isolated? Isolated is one or two lesions without extensive metastatic disease. For instance, this patient who a few years ago had an essentially a normal looking liver. The density of the liver is homogeneous and there's no nodules or abnormal mass lesions growing in the liver. A follow-up scan a few years later shows extensive metastatic disease. Everywhere you see one of these low density or gray lesions lesions in the liver is now a metastatic foci. This is not a good appearance for radio frequency ablation. There are too many lesions to treat with this particular technique. This patient, on the other hand, who had a scan back in 2008 showing the right kidney to be fairly normal, a follow-up scan in 2010 showing a small little cortical lesion, very nonspecific, and finally in 2013, there's definite interval growth of this isolated mass lesion on the posterior cortex of the right kidney. This measures approximately 2.7 by 2.1 centimeter. No other lesions were found in the body, so this would be a great lesion for radiofrequency ablation. So what is radiofrequency ablation? In general terms, it's simply a way to cook the tumor right where it sits. We're trying to heat up those tissues, denature those proteins, and basically kill that tumor where it sits, preserving as much of the normal tissue around it. Graphically, if we look at the liver, and we go inside and we would find an isolated tumor inside of the liver, and we would diagnose this with a CT scan, just like some of the scans that I showed you, and we would use CT to then guide a needle into the abnormality. The prototype needle for this technique is called the Levine needle. On one side is a plunger, and that plunger, when you push it forward, actually pushes out this array of needles that come out and curve around the tumor. It looks kind of barbaric, but it's a way to distribute this radio frequency energy around the tumor itself. We would use CT guidance to basically guide that needle into the back side of that tumor. We would then deploy those tines, and we would watch those tines wrap around the tumor, again using CT guidance. And once it's appropriately positioned, we put grounding pads on the patient's thighs and their legs, and we hook the needle up to a radio frequency generator. And basically what radio frequency is, is an alternating current that goes between the needle and the grounding pads on the patient's thighs. And this alternating current, because it's a charged electromagnetic field, causes ions in the body, like the hydrogen and the oxygen in the water or the sodium and the chlorine and the salt that's in our body to vibrate back and forth. And as this vibrates, it generates heat. And that heat is what cooks the tumor, literally cooks the tumor and denatures those proteins in an attempt to destroy that local tumor. And what we do is we use a protocol to slowly heat that tumor. You don't want this looking like seared ahi tuna where it's really cooked on the outside, raw on the inside. You want this well done, like shoe leather, through and through. So we slowly instill this radio frequency energy using a given protocol until we fully cook the tissue. And we have some indication of when that is complete because we're looking for the resistance in the tissue to go way up. And once that goes way up, it means you've boiled all the water out of the regional tissues and it probably killed that tumor. If it's big enough, we retract those tines, pull the needle back again, and deploy the tines again somewhere in the middle of the tumor to make sure we get a thorough treatment through and through. If you look at our patient with the renal mass, you can see here is the Levine needle sticking on the far side of the tumor. And after that area was treated, the needle was brought back and deployed again, and the more peripheral portion of the uh, tumor was treated. At the end, you can actually see these little dark areas all around the treatment bed. These are little foci of air where the tissues have heated up and you've boiled off some gases that have now formed in those regional tissues. Actually, a good sign. Follow-up CT scans will show that this tumor will eventually shrink over time and get resorbed from the body. And if this is an isolated mass lesion, this can be a definitive treatment for the tumor itself. Mm -hmm.